today, this morning, we are flagging around four, 407 uh, Southern Africans going to Nachivale. And Nachivale, you know, we still keep them there as we prepare them for settlements at the settlement camps. I, I say that we are going, government is going to consider through the World Bank office, through Dr. Dim project, Kisoro district, because it's the transit center where most of the, the asylum seekers are now coming through to get to, to settle in Uganda. So because it is the transit center, like last year, you know, you had a very big influx of refugees coming from the RC Congo. We want Kisoro district to benefit from that project because most of the, the, the hosting districts have been have been uh, uh, benefiting from Dr. D. So as uh, Soro, Bundibujo, all the transit districts are also going to benefit. And it's a very big multi-million uh, grant. I must say we have a challenge right now. From the time uh, the Ukraine war broke out, we have been having um, a resource envelope reducing so much because like last year alone, we got almost around only 40% uh, funding through UNHCR for the refugees. So the funding is going less and lesser and when you look at now we get another web broken in Sudan We know again it's going to be very lesser for us and we are expecting even Sudan asylum seekers in the country So it is a this refugee issue is an international burden and we shall still continue uh, uh, Calling out to them to be able to support the government of Uganda through UNHCR to take care of the welfare and the, uh, uh, the upkeep of the refugees in our country